Rolf, you certainly have your game face on. We're inside the corral at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo. Even bigger this year. That's why they've moved in here. You see stars. You're getting a little bit confused. You're overexcited. Haven't had your nap yet. That's fine. William Shatner, my personal favorite, Summer Glau is here. There was a little bit of gas coming from my, my aerosol can. So, yeah, yeah I am seeing I a little bit of stars. And I hadn't had many scenes yet, so I thought rehearsal was you just go out and you do it like you're gonna do it. And um, <laughs> everybody was completely speechless. I, I jumped out of that box and I, I went for my Oscar. And um, <laughs> the, the whole cast just was speechless afterwards. And Joss came over to me and this was, Joss was so sweet. He goes, Wow, that was, wow, that was, that was full out, wasn't it? That was, okay. You know, he, this is rehearsal and, and everybody was like, we should get her a towel, we should get her a towel. The thing about Green Lantern, anybody can be him. Is that correct? Uh, not necessarily. It's it, it's anyone can wield the power if they have enough will. But the big thing is that you have to be chosen by the ring. It's not just you can throw the ring on and you have an instant suit. Yeah, <laughs> but you have quite the suit, my friend. Well, thank you very much. It's uh, again, I was chosen, so. <laughs> So like we said, anybody can be a Green Lantern. How are you doing today? Great. <laughs> so, so what Green Lantern are you? Uh, just some random generic Green Lantern. But we were told that you had to be chosen. Yes, I was chosen. <laughs> just, they're kind of lax nowadays on choosing. <laughs> can you speak in that? Yes, I can. Okay, what are you? I'm a Tiernit from Warhammer 40K. <laughs> We've got a Rolf on the floor, I believe, has question number one for Mr. Shatner. Rolf? There he is. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, did Where you get my you? friend request? What? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the I show Bleep My Dad Said. Uh, are you gonna do any other sitcoms? Um, well, uh, I'm still getting over the shock of having been canceled. Apparently it was the highest rated show being canceled. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I never had done a sitcom before, and I, I, I've done pretty much everything else. I've uh, uh, stand up and improv comedy, and, and then the movies and stage and one man shows, and I mean the list goes on. But I've never done this uh, sitcom thing with an audience, and I had no idea what it was like until I did it. It is something totally unique in uh, in, in uh, show business. Uh, you either can do it or you can't. The audience, like yourselves, are there, and you're trying to be funny, and the audience immediately tells you that you are or you are or not. Rolf, it's been a very long day at the Comic and Entertainment Expo. Clearly, you're overstimulated. I'm actually pretty impressed because you're the only member of the media who managed to get an interview with William Shatner. Yeah, I think he's still answering that question. Hey, everybody, look, uh, we don't know what we're doing here, and uh, we hope you'll teach us what to do. <laughs> uh, you know, we boldly went where no man went before, and we came out boys. So until next time, I'm Rolf the Promo Guy. Um, the other guy. <laughs> and we'll catch you later. Give me that microphone. God! And then the, uh, the difference between uh, uh, um, Boston uh, Legal was that I had to commute with Boston Legal. I had to drive two hours to Manhattan Beach from where I live in rush hour traffic sometimes. It was onerous. I mean, I had four hours, three and a half, four hours commuting.